Hey, it's Justin Goff. And in this video, I'm going to break down a personality driven email that I wrote that brought in $10,244 in sales in one day. You can see that right here in my Sam cart. Um, so this is an email I wrote a couple months ago when I was doing a launch of my list building course. And I'm going to break down why it worked uh, and kind of how you can do the same thing. So if you're not familiar with personality driven emails, these are really, I think the crux of if you're a coach, if you're an expert, if you're a guru of some type consultant, uh, or if you're a copywriter who writes emails for those type of people, to me, the personality driven emails are the best thing you can do to not only sell stuff, but to get your list to love you and to keep them sticking around for month, month after month and year after year. That's a big, big thing because if you're just selling hard, hard, hard with no kind of personality involved, uh, people are just going to end up dropping off your list and then you're always going to have to be replenishing the list to keep it going. But if you actually build a bond with the people on your list and you can do that while still selling to them, uh, they'll stick around and actually be very interested in reading your emails that you send every day. So that's what a personality email driven or personality driven email does. That's how I operate my own email list. Now let's break down this email that did a little over $10,000 in sales. So like I said, this was an email promoting my uh, course that teaches people list building. Um, this email is all about my friend, Mike Geary. And I put basically the subject line is why Mike Geary is the king of the lifestyle business. So if you don't know who Mike Geary is, to give you some context, really um old school internet marketer has been in the game since i don't know 2006 or so somewhere around then mike makes a ton of money um i don't know exactly how much he makes but i would guess he probably takes home over 10 million dollars a year and really the coolest thing about mike is that he lives this kind of lifestyle business where his life and actually doing fun things in life always come before the business so He's not working 10 hours a day. Uh, he's not doing all kinds of like complicated stuff in his business. R really, his whole business revolves around building his email list uh, and then making sales to his email list. So Mike was a perfect example of basically being able to, like I said, being able to live this lifestyle that having an email list uh, entitles you to. So it was a perfect fit for what I was selling here, which was how to build an email list. Um, I call this a selling the dream uh, email and you can do it just like I'm doing it here with teaching people how to build an email list. You can do it with fitness. You can do it with learning how to play guitar. You can do it with travel, whatever your list is about. There's some dream that the people on your list have uh, and you could easily sell them that dream in a story. So I'm going to show you how I did that with this email. So it starts off why Mike Geary is the king of the lifestyle business. Uh, I want to make sure you use his name because he is well known in the industry. Uh, so he's going to get a good amount of opens uh, simply because his name is in there. All right. So I started out. I've seen a lot of people crush it with a lifestyle business, but I don't think anyone has done it better than my friend Mike Geary. Why? Well, let's look at his life. Mike currently lives in Utah in a gorgeous multi-million dollar house at the top of Powder Mountain. Anytime there's fresh snowfall, Mike simply pops his skis on and he's on the trails in less than 10 seconds. Pretty cool. But what's even cooler is that Mike customized his house to basically fit everything that he loves. So in addition to skiing, Mike is super into health and biohacking. So what did he do? He built out an entire day spa on the first floor of his house. Seriously, this thing looks like the kind of spa you'd find at the Wynn. It's got a full steam room, a hot sauna, and then you go outside. And there's a custom-made in-ground cold plunge. And next to the cold plunge is a massive 10-person hot tub that overlooks the mountain. It's simply stunning. All right, so I'll pause right there. This is really just me storytelling about Mike's life. Uh, and like I said, selling that dream, talking about how great his life is. He lives in Utah, a gorgeous multi-million dollar house at the top of Powder Mountain. One thing to note here, adding all this little detail about the specific location and stuff makes it much more believable. If I said Mike currently lives in a gorgeous house at the top of a mountain, nowhere near as powerful as saying he lives in Utah at the top of Powder Mountain. That's just 
connects with people much more and it's much more believable too. It helps them paint kind of that picture in their mind. So anytime you're kind of describing something, the more kind of detail you can use around it, the better it's going to be. Uh, so then, yeah, I just go into really, like I said, showing what Mike's lifestyle is like. So he literally lives on the mountain. He pops his skis on. He's on the trail in less than 10 seconds. I've stayed with him a couple of times and literally done this with him. It's pretty sweet. So I thought people would be really interested in hearing that. Um, and then, yeah, he's got all this other cool stuff at his house, like the spa, which this is one thing I love bringing up is like, what's a super interesting thing that people are going to be like, wow, that's cool. I mean, the fact that he has an entire day spa on the first floor of his house is pretty freaking cool. Um, and then I compare it to, this is the kind of spa you'd find at the Wynn. If you're not familiar with the Wynn, it's a, uh, hotel in Vegas. Very, very nice high end. Um, and literally his spa is like, that's kind of what it's like. It feels like you're at a fancy hotel. And then I just kind of go into like, like I said, everything he's kind of got there. So he's got his steam room, his sauna, the cold plunge, got a hot tub. It's awesome. And it's tailored to everything that Mike loves. So we'll go on here. So I keep telling the story. I've been lucky enough to hang with Mike on a number of occasions. And every time I'm around him, there's one thing that always sticks out to me. And that's the fact that his first priority is not work. It's enjoying life. Seriously, he's not a slave to working. He's not spending all day managing employees or sitting on Zoom calls. He doesn't do any of that stuff. The reality is that he works like two hours a day and he spends the rest of his time skiing, hiking, playing with his dogs and enjoying his spa. It's a pretty damn good life and one that most people would kill for. So uh, so we, we, we painted the whole kind of picture of what he does. I also painted the picture of what he doesn't do. So he's not a slave to working. He's not spending all day managing employees. He's not sitting on Zoom calls, which is what most people who own a company, they're on Zoom calls pretty much all day. Mike doesn't do any of that stuff. And then I talk about the reality is that he works like two hours a day. And this is actually true. He, he does work like two hours a day. I'm sure there's days he works more, but uh, his kind of normal day is pretty simple and pretty short. Uh, and then I, again, I reiterate, he spends most of his time hiking, skiing, playing with his dogs, enjoying his spa. Um, so really, like I said, we, we, we laid out this kind of ideal lifestyle, what he's doing, what he doesn't have to do. And then this is where I kind of start to tie it in with what I'm selling. So the big thing, the big reason Mike is able to do this is because of his email list and he puts tons and tons of focus on his email list. So this is the part in the email where I'm going to start tying that in uh, with why Mike has such a really good life. So I say it's a pretty damn good life and one that most people would kill for. But here's the thing. His life didn't turn out like this by accident. Nope. The reality is that Mike has pur purposely kept everything in his business simple. And he only has one focus in his business. Any guesses as to what focus that is? I'll give you a hint. It's not his social media or the operations of his business. It's his email list. Mike is always figuring out new ways to get people onto his list. Why? Because he knows if he can simply keep growing his list, then he can keep making $20,000 to $30,000 with every email that he sends. That's it. It's a super simple business model, but it works. And focusing on his email list has allowed Mike and his wife to live a life that most people could never dream of. So that's really me just driving home the point that this great life that Mike has is really all due to his email list. It's not because um, he's great at management. It's not because um, he's awesome at scaling companies. It's really all due, is, due to his email list. And he's honestly had a pretty much the same business model since like 2007, 2008, which is just keep putting people on his email list and keep selling the people on his email list more stuff. That's literally his entire business model. He really hasn't changed it in, I don't know, what's that, 15 years? Um, so I made sure to really hammer that point home. Um, and then this is where we transition to the pitch. So <clears throat> I tell you all about Mike, tell you all about the awesome life he has, uh, really sell you on the idea that, that, that having an email list is key to living this kind of life. Now we switch to the pitch. So 
Let's see. So this is where I go. Now, maybe this is appealing to you and you'd like to have a lifestyle business like Mike's. If that's the case, then I have something for you. So this is kind of a soft like transition. I'm not like very blunt of like, here's what you need to do. This is now, if you want this, here's what you need to do. So it's very kind of like, yeah, like I said, it's just kind of like a soft transition. Uh, I'm not jamming it down their throat. I'm just like, if this appeals to you, uh, and you'd like to have a life like Mike's, uh, um, then I have something you might be interested in. So here's where we actually go into the pitch. Next week, I'm going to host a one day live training where I'll show you how to build and grow your own email list, but we won't be focusing on putting just anyone onto your list. I'm going to show you how to put PWM people with money onto your list. This way you'll have a list full of people that will happily pull out their credit card and buy from you over and over again. The cool thing is this works in pretty much every niche out there. So this is a big, important point because one of the biggest objections I always get when I'm selling stuff is, will this work in the dating niche? Will this work in me? I don't know, teaching accountants how to grow their business. Will this work in credit repair? Will this work? Whatever, whatever niche people are in, they think that their niche is special and that for some reason, the stuff I'm teaching is not going to work in there. So I try to make sure here to show a bunch of different examples that the list building method I'm going to teach you, the people with money list building method, it works in pretty much every niche out there. And I make sure to really say like, I'm going to show you examples from health, investing, dating, astrology, golf, guitar, survival, guns, poker, collectibles, precious metals, blah, 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 blah. So I go through the whole list and list them all out. So you get to see real world of examples of how to build your list. And I'm also going to show you, and this is where we go into the bullets. So this is kind of interesting because I did not have a sales page for this offer. I literally just sent people to a checkout page. So I have to do more of the selling in the email. Um, obviously it's not anywhere near as long as a like 30 page sales letter, but I do have to show a lot of the stuff that's going to be in the course and kind of what they're going to learn uh, in the email. So if I had a really kind of built out sales page, I wouldn't be doing all this. I'd probably just link them to it uh, and send them over there. But like I said, for this one, no sales page, I'm literally sending them straight to a checkout page that has no information on it except um, basically how to pay. Uh, so I need to give them a little more information in this email on what the on the what the one day training is going to be all about so that's why i have all the bullets here the idea with the bullets is to really make them as sexy as possible um and really because like just one bullet can get people drawn in and want to buy the training so i'll, I'll kind of break these down for you the fir the first one here is without a doubt the sexiest bullet how to acquire an 8,000 to 10,000 person email list for free in the next two weeks. Yes, I said free. I made sure to lead with that bullet because I know anybody who does not have an email list right now, the idea that they could acquire one uh, in two weeks for free would be a really, really appealing idea. Um, and that's actually something I taught in the course how to do. So I made sure to lead with that one. Uh, like I said, because it's, it, it, it seriously cuts the time. Cause I mean, building an email list usually takes time and takes money. Now I'm telling you, here's how you can acquire one in two weeks for free. Um, so that, that's a really, really sexy bullet. So I made sure to lead with it. Always, you always want to lead with your best bullet and then you always want to end with your second best bullet. So let me go to the next one. The number one traffic source that puts people with money onto your li email list. This traffic source beats out YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram when it comes to high value leads. Most people are getting all their leads from YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. And even if they're not, they think that's where they should be getting them. So I kind of turn things around on them here and say, well, this one actually beats out all three of those. So that's pretty interesting. The 12 most profitable niches to start your list in and the three niches you should avoid at all costs. So this is one of those kind of classic bullets where if it was just the 12 most profitable niches to start your list in, that's okay. And that's 
decent bullet, but this kind of is a little banger on the end. The three niches you should avoid at all costs. That puts a little fear in their mind of like, oh, why, <laughs> why maybe my niche is on there. There's, there might be something going on. There might be something wrong with the niche I'm in. How to start a list and instantly profit, even if you're not an expert and even if nobody knows who you are. So people want to make money right away. They don't want to wait two years to make money with a list. So I'm talking about how you can instantly profit with the list. Then I really hit on this part that even if you're not an expert and even if nobody knows who you are, that was such a huge objection when I promoted this list building course. I got tons of emails from people like, yeah, you built your list, but everybody knows who you are. How can I build my list? I'm not a big name like you are. So bunch, a bunch of emails about that. So I made sure to address that um, in this bullet. And I also address it in the copy later on. This next one is more for the advanced people. So advanced list building tactics that are bringing in 5,000 or more leads a day for big dogs like Mike Geary, Joel Marion, and Russell Brunson. So these are all three really well-known marketers. Uh, they're all bringing in tons of leads a day. And in the course, I actually talk about some more advanced stuff as well. So I didn't want people to think this is just for like newbies. I want people who already have lists to be able to buy this course as well. Which lead magnets work best for attracting people with money and which ones you should avoid. So a lot of people, um, when they use a lead magnet to get people onto the list, um, usually use a, a lead magnet that will put the wrong person on their list. So that's what that bullet is all about. The 60 second test that tells you if your lead magnet will convert before you even create it. So that's a big kind of worry people have They're put all this time, this effort into creating a lead magnet, whether that's an ebook or a video or whatever, and they don't really have any idea if it's going to work. Um, so I'm giving you the 60 second test that tells you if the lead magnet is going to work before you ever even create it. How I turned a massive radio station into my affiliate that sent me a hundred to 120 high value buyers a day. Radio is not sexy by any means, but the buyers and leads it delivers spend 30 to 40% more on average than a Facebook buyer. So this one, um, is pretty cool. So, the idea of just turning a radio station into your affiliate that's sending you a hundred buyers a day is a pretty kind of sexy thing where it's like, Oh, I don't have to do anything. And they're going to send me all these buyers. Awesome. Uh, but then I put this little caveat on the end because I knew some people would see the word radio and be like turned off because it's radio is not sexy. So I just address that head on. I'm like, it's not sexy by any means, but the buyers and leads it delivers, they spend a lot more money. I mean, when you compare a radio buyer to a uh, Facebook buyer, the radio buyers are just hands down way better. Um, so I made sure to really let people know that so they understand why we're going after uh, leads from radio stations. Lead magnets that are kicking ass right now in over 16 different niches. That kind of goes back to what we talked about before. People really want to see different stuff from dis different niches. If I just teach everything from the internet marketing niche or the health niche, people can't relate to that. So I try to have different examples from all kinds of different niches. How you can use list splintering to double the value of every lead you put on your list. Uh, so this is kind of a, an idea I came up with um, and I teach in the course. Basically, list splintering is when somebody opts into your email list and then they're on, um, you put them on another email list um, so that way you can make literally like double the money from them. All the big emailers tend to do this. Um, so I teach this in the course and I basically said, you can double the value of every lead you put on your list. So this is going to appeal mostly to people who already have a list or kind of more advanced people. Uh, so that's one thing to kind of look at with these bullets. There's a bunch of bullets that appeal to like newbies. There's people there's bullets that appeal to people who do not have a list. There's bullets that appeal to people who already have a list. So I want a good mix of all of them. Last one, how to legally hijack your competitors. Thank you page and filter their best buyers onto your list. This is super ninja and hundred percent legal. Uh, I love the word hijack, uh, cause it makes it sound like you're doing something illegal. Um, like it sounds like you're basically taking over their over their thank you page and um, 
funneling all the buyers to your list. That's kind of what I want it to sound like. And really all this one is, is um, getting them to put an affiliate offer on their thank you page for your opt-in or for your offer. And so the cool thing about that is you basically, the only people that see it are people that are have bought their product. So you're filtering really high quality buyers from their page uh, into your email list. So it's a really cool kind of trick. But I wanted to make sure to end on that because I think it's a really, probably the second best bullet out of this whole list of bullets. Um, yeah, so you want to make sure anytime you do bullets, you want to end on a, you want to start with a really good bullet and you want to end on a really good bullet. So yeah, like I said, that's the bullets. Um, I normally would not do all of that, but like I said, this one did not have a sales page. So I have to do a lot more of the selling in the email. So then I go on. So that's what this training is all about. I think you're gonna be blown away by it. And I think the training will appeal to you if, so this is where I literally just kind of lay out who I think it's for. This is a really kind of important thing to do in an email. So. I think it's for you if you already have a list, you want to stop dealing with tire kickers and quickly add more people with money to your list. You currently write copy for clients, but you'd like to have your own list so you increase your income and, and escape the hours for dollars trap. You're currently a coach, expert, or consultant who wants to have a list that will buy high ticket services and programs without bulking at the price. Or you're frustrated about your job and you'd love to have a side hustle that makes you good money in the little free time you have available. So those are four different kind of categories of people that would end up buying this course and who I think it would be good for. I want to make sure to call those people out because there's a lot of those people, they're thinking while they're reading this, is this for me? And so if I clearly call out, hey, this is for you if... Um, that's going to make it much easier for them to buy. There's going to be a lot less doubt and a lot less confusion in their head. Uh, when I specifically say, yeah, if you currently write copy for clients, uh, and you want to have your own list, then this is for you. All right. So I lay all that out Then we go on. So if any of those sound like you, I think you'll love this training I'm, I'm putting on as for the details, the training will take place next week on Wednesday. January 25th at noon Eastern time on Zoom. Plan on it lasting about three hours. If you can't make it to the live training or if you need to step away for any reason, you'll get all the recordings from the training so you can watch it whenever you'd like. This is a big objection I got when I do these kind of live trainings is people saying they can't make it or I'm going to be at work or I got another call at that time. So I really make sure to emphasize that no matter if you're there or not, you're going to have access to everything. All right. So now we're going to go into the price justification. The big thing when we get to the price is we want to make it sound like a lot less than it is. We, should, we want to make it sound like um, you're getting a huge deal compared to other stuff. So as for the price, unlike other trainings and workshops I've done in the past, this one won't cost $1,500. In fact, it won't even cost $500. I think having a list of people with money is a game changer. So I'm making this training affordable for everyone. So instead of charging $1,500 or $500, bucks, the price is just $197. So for $197, I'll walk you through my whole PWM method for building your list. That way you'll be able to work just a few hours a day like Mike Geary and still make an incredible living. So tying it back in with the original story of this email a little bit. I can tell you from experience that having my own list full of people with money has allowed me to do some pretty incredible things such as make $350,000 in 2018 from a tiny list of 200 people. That's a kind of a, a good bullet here because I'm... Um, I'm laying out that you don't have to have a huge list to make money. Uh, the fact that I made 350K from a list of 200 people, that's going to be really eye opening to some people. Um, so I really want to show that. Uh, routinely make $30,000 simply promoting other people's products that I believe in. So these are affiliate offers. Get 70 plus people to sign up for a $35,000 coaching program. That's for anybody who's doing coaching stuff, the fact that I've gotten 70 people to sign up from my email list is probably gonna be pretty amazing to them. And also just work one to two hours a day and still make 40 to 50K a month. That's kind of where I was at when I wrote these emails. Um, 
I would say now I'm probably closer to 60 to 80 K a month. Um, working just again, just one, one to two hours a day. So really kind of extolling all the benefits of having your own list that's full of people with money. So I hammer that home. I say my list did all that, which is why I'm excited to teach you the secret sauce behind all of this in my training next week. Again, the training will take place on Wednesday, January 25th on zoom. It will be recorded. And if you can't make it or you can't be there for the whole thing, you'll get recording sent to you the day after. So that's the deal. If you want to be a part of this, I suggest grabbing a spot today. I don't have a fancy sales page to sell you on this training. So just head over to the checkout and get signed up if you want to be a part of it. You can see, secure your spot right here. Hope to see you on the training, Justin. Then I always do a little picture at the end, uh, kind of recapping my um, kind, of, kind of the idea behind the email. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll usually do that. I think it adds a nice bonding element. Um, and it separates me from all the other people in my niche who are sending daily emails but are not adding a picture. So this doesn't, I don't think it increases sales or anything like that. But to me, I think it does add a nice little bonding element, which is why I do it. So that's the entire email. Uh, like I said, this is a very typical kind of personality driven email uh, where I'm literally telling a story. And you can tell reading it, it's a very conversational tone. Like it sounds like me talking to you. There's no like, I use all the slang that I would normally use in person. Uh, if I'm going to cuss, I'll cuss. Like I don't like filter it. It's a very just me and you kind of sitting in a bar talking together. That's how I want this to feel. Um, and that's really the key to doing these these personality driven emails. And as I showed you before with the SAM card stats, like I said, this email absolutely crushed, brought in 10244 bucks. probably honestly even more than that because it's not counting the sales that came in the day after. But that is the power of a good personality-driven email. So highly recommend um, writing personality-driven emails. Like I said, these work great if you uh, coach, expert, consultant, if you're a copywriter who writes for any of those people like that, or if you're a copywriter who wants to start your own list. Um, this is the way I do my email list. And there's a reason I've had people on my email list for four or five years who still literally open every email I send and just buy stuff from me year after year after year. It's because these types of emails, um, they're not just sales emails. There's personality, there's story, there's all that stuff infused in it. And that keeps people coming back and reading day after day. So if these uh if these styles of email if you really like this um i actually have my personality driven email course which is actually called justin style emails uh on sale right now if you want to pick that up i will pop the link down below in the information and you can grab that that'll be available for about i don't know probably about a week um and then i will pull it off the market again so if you like the email I shared here and you want to learn more about how to write these kind of emails, uh, highly recommend checking that course out. The link is down below. Uh, hope you got a lot out of this and hope it's going to help you with writing your personality driven emails. So thanks for sticking around and thanks for watching.